I'm Matt. This is John. We're here from Straight Shooter Reviews. Uh, John, today we got your 642 out here with us. Um, we talked about this gun quite a bit in one of our more recent videos, the uh, the Ruger LCR 38 video. And actually, at the end of our video, we kind of made it pretty clear that we preferred this gun to that gun. Now, we both shot this a lot. We're not going to lie about it. So, um, John, what makes you like this gun? I mean, you carry this gun pretty regularly. Yeah, I carry it every single day in my pocket. Um, yeah, I. It, well, first of all, it's a six, the 642 is made by Smith & Wesson. It's in 38 Special. holds five rounds of 38 Special. Um, it's a great carry gun. I love it. it I, like I said, I carry it in my pocket in this little... You don't have to get anything fancy. It's just a cheap pocket holster. And I carry it in my front right pocket every day. Um, it shoots pretty well. I, I like carrying it. Yeah, I mean, compared to the uh, the LCR, this gun's definitely more enjoyable to shoot. I mean, it's got the 38 kick, but it's not nearly as, you know, powerful of a, of a kickback as I would say as the 38 LCR was. This gun's a lot more comfortable to shoot. It also fits better in my hands. So that could be part of it. I agree. I think they coincide. Um, I, a big part of that, I have, I have the feeling, is that I can really get, I'm not going to point it at you, but... <laughs> I can for that. Yeah, I can really get my hand up. I don't know if you can see, but I can really get my hand up on the grip a lot better there. Right. Yeah, a lot and much higher grip. The design of the LCR grip is just kind of down there. Right. And I, I think that contributes to it. I think it, it it looks a lot better too, in my opinion, than the LCR. Yeah, it's it definitely looks way more attractive. Um, as far as you know, the one thing we did like about the LCR was the trigger. Where do you think this trigger falls in comparison? Mm, it, it's a double action only you know revolver triggers so it's they're both somewhat heavy but they're, they're very different triggers this one kind of has I mean not that I really stage it when I practice for uh, you know defensive shooting but sure there's there's three different stages to it there's kind of three clicks whereas the LCR is kind of just take up and then kind of like you hit a wall at the end and then it fires um, but I mean I, I've I'm used to it and I don't, I don't mind it I like it so. Yeah, I mean, and, and another thing that we liked about the LCR was that big dot sight, which this doesn't have. But yeah. do, you, do you find that impacts your ability at all? Well, like today, we're shooting out in the sun, yeah. plenty of sunlight. It's pretty easy. And I'm, we're both young, we have good eyes, but it, I think that's definitely an advantage the LCR has over the 642, is it? You can't change the sights out on this. Right. Um, sure. Though I actually owned one of these previously, I owned a 642 2. And the difference is, this is a 642-1. It doesn't have the, uh, they call it the Hillary hole. It, it doesn't have that internal lock. Um, but otherwise, that's the only difference between the 642 that I had in the past. And uh, so obviously, I got a second one, so I regretted selling the first one. Right. So yeah, I, I really like them. I'm trying to think of it. Th this one, there are more aftermarket grip options for this, but... I messed around with that a little bit, and I decided, I don't know, did you shoot it with the wood grips on it? I did, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was, I mean, you, after each shot, you kind of had to readjust it in your hand. And it looked pretty, but I didn't think it was very yeah, As far as functionality goes, it wasn't as yeah. effective as it is. Sure. Yeah, and for a carry gun, you know, it's function over form, so. Right. Um, anything you, you particularly don't like about it? No, not uh, other than the, the sights, which isn't, I mean, it's not the end of the world, really, because. Sure. I'm gonna, if I ever have to use this for defensive purposes, it's not going to be, you know, I'm not going to have to make like a 50-yard shot with it. If I do, I'm in some serious trouble. So. Yeah, you have a good lawyer if you make 50-yard <laughs> shots for defensive yeah. purposes. Definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like it. You know, I mean, you know me, I'm not really a revolver guy. Um, but if I if I had to carry a revolver, I, I'd have no problems carrying this one, mm -hmm. sure. As far as the price goes, well, I mean, how do you think it's priced? I think it's very reasonable. It, anymore, it's pretty competitive with other carry guns, not just revolvers, it's a little over 400 bucks, something like that is what, what they cost. Sure. Um, <clears throat> it's a light gun. Yeah. I mean, it's very light. I think it's like 15 or 16 ounces unloaded. I mean, that's, you know, that's light enough, especially unloaded. You, I mean, I don't even feel this in my pocket or my waistband. It's just, yeah. it's no heavier than my iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> and and that, that's one of the reasons that I can carry it, you know, in my pocket every day. And, and I, I forget it's there. I love it. You probably put, what, a couple thousand rounds down this by now, and I mean, it still yeah. functions flawlessly. Yeah, I think that one's up over a thousand now. My previous one was probably around there. So between the two 642s that I've owned, yeah, I have a decent amount of trigger time behind them. And you mentioned about functioning flawlessly. That's the time between the 642s that I had. I didn't stop carrying a gun. 
I had a rear LC9S, and I'm not going to get into that too much, but had some major reliability issues with that, where it went back to rear twice. Um, and people say, oh, well, you know, it's a good company, and they'll fix it. Well, yeah, that's great, but if my gun breaks when I have to defend myself, it doesn't matter how good the warranty is. I want a gun that... Yeah, you're going to fix it for your funeral. Right, yeah. Uh, that's no good. So, and that's where I, I decided, you know, this is just as easy to carry as that LC9 was. And, I, you know, I, sh I still yeah, shoot I mean, it well. Carry guns like a parachute. If you don't have one and you need one, you're never going to need one again. Right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Uh, so well, yeah. yeah, I endorse it. I mean, I'm all about it. I, you know, I'll probably own one at some point just to have for anything to, to have some options. I like it a lot. Anything else you want to have? Not really. I, you know, if I didn't think it was the best carry gun for me, I wouldn't carry it. So right, good point. Yeah. Great, right, John. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.